Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to talk about our old friend, the HD Sender, or should we call them an extender. Um, we've done lots of videos on this previously. and This is a Technomate model, um, but it's 4K. So it's totally different to the other two models, which were the 2K standard type. Now, please go back and have a look at those videos. Um, I did one on the previous model to this. So this is a Technomate TN55 4K. If you go into our older content videos and look for Technomate TN55, that will of course then give you the previous unit to this because they wire up exactly the same and they've got exactly the same things inside them. And also we do a we did a video on the Technomate TN70, which is the one with the um specific USB facility on it as well. Excellent for CCTV systems and computer extensions. So please go back and have a quick look. I don't want to get too heavy on the this plugs into there, that plugs into there thing today. I'm focusing on the 4K thing and two of the don'ts, you know, because there's two things that we don't want to see on these units. And if I don't tell you, you will kick yourself afterwards. Um, it just makes complete sense. So go back and look at the video for Technomate TM55. Voila, we're back. So, TN55 4K. Comes with two senders, like in the video I hope you've just been back and watched on the TM55. They're slightly bigger than the standard TM55, and that's because these are 4K. There's clearly a lot more going on in those. Two infrared pickups. And they're for your remote control to work in your secondary location, wherever it is you're going. Clearly marked. IR in for receiver. IR out for transmitter. We'll get to that later. Comes with a little power supply. 12 volt DC. It's usually one amp. It's very rarely anything more than that to run something like this. Little uh, male plug on there. I think the 5 or 5.5 mil. So, what does this thing do other than 4K? Well, it says HDMI 2.0 over single CAT PoE extender with HDMI loop through. Blah, what a mouthful. Let's break it down for you. There's 12 bullet points on the back. I'll give you the good juice of it. HDMI extender over single CAT6 CAT 6A or CAT 7 cable. Now that's important. At no point does it say CAT 5. And if you did go back to that previous video, I'll keep referring to it. We do say you can use CAT 5 full copper copper. Easily identified because it's the full 350 megahertz stuff. And it's got a really good speed. 6 to 800 megabytes, I think. Really good stuff. Not with this. Because of the HD content. You know, if you're going to carry HD... 4k you know the very very highest you know you need cat 6 up cat 6 cat 6a cat 7 distances 4k at 30 hertz 55 meters 4k at 60 hertz 35 meters again the previous video for technomate tm55 we explained very clearly take a good 10 to 15 meters off those distances um, if you're not using the full cable. Now, on the old ones, of course, they said use CAT6 as the best. These are now saying CAT7. So take 10 or 15 metres off. Do not use CAT5. Um, full HD 1080p at 24 frames per second. So that's good. It will still be good enough uh, for you know your standard HD 1080p. But, of course, again, you'd go, you'd go by the Technomate TM55 not this 4k poe receiver requires no power so in other words you only have to power one of these units up which i'll show you very quickly um 3d supported and ir control and again there's our little pickups so you can use your remote in your secondary location so why do we use these cctv We've got a 4K CCTV system downstairs, and even though they're not too popular at the moment because they're quite low on frame rates, usually between 8 and 12, 
they are still out there. When they improve them, of course, they'll become more and more popular. But they're out there now. They're not going anywhere. So, I've got my 4K CCTV system downstairs. I need to run a cable 30 metres up into the wall, across, and down onto the other side of the building. It's 30 metres because I've put another 4K television up on my bedroom wall and I want the 4K content. I want to see the CCTV while I'm sat up in bed reading a book so I can still see what's going on at my property if I so wish to do so. With, of course, the sound and everything that's on the cameras now, because most cameras have got microphones on them, you know everything that's going on outside makes people feel safe. We love that. So, we're going to get the CCTV still working on the TV downstairs, and then we're going to get one working upstairs. So what do we do first? We go to the transmitter. Plug the power lead in. And this onto the wall. Again, it comes with UK, um, European and the uh, Pacific ones for uh, Australia and New Zealand. I think there's some in Asia at the same. Then inside the box, the UK one for us, plug it in. And that's that powered up. IR out for transmitter. So that's your pickup feed infrared. So that your remote control will be at work in your secondary location in your bedroom. Little 3.5mm jack plug, same thing you have for your earphones. And plug that in there. Voila. Lead these plugged in. I'll just take them out for the moment. Because I want you to show you these. HDMI in, HDMI out. So this is our 4K monitor downstairs or television. I take the HDMI lead out. Plug it into the HDMI in. Then I get another, and you've got to purchase these separately, another HDMI lead, plug it into the output, and then back into our existing monitor. And that is the loop through. So the content can keep on working downstairs. So we don't lose any functionality at all. On the other side, there's a reset button. There's a little power light there, which will be on now. Because remember, this is plugged in, the power's in. And there's... I'll keep moving it around because of the light. There's a female RJ45 connection there. And of course it says cat. And that's for your cat cable. So, remember this is 30 metres where we're running it to a bedroom. I've put a 30 metre cable in. This is it. Okay, it's not quite 30 metres but we can pretend for this video. And all I've done is crimp the RJ45 connections on and done a quick data test to make sure it's working. Put two anti-bend boots on there so here's our transmitter downstairs all powered up our system's working our 30 meter cat cable goes into there and then we run it we run upstairs get our receiver plug that in and you will then see the power light come on because of course this is a poe so it means power over the Ethernet. So that powers it up. There is obviously a 12 volt DC port on this as well. If you're a bit stuck for plugs downstairs, you can also plug it in upstairs as opposed to down. We like to put it on the transmitter end because clearly where the CCTV is uh, and your television and all that stuff, there's, there's got to be power down there to run it. So we do that. This makes it neater upstairs. And then while this is still plugged in, let's pretend. IR in, and there's the other pickup, clearly marked, IR in for receiver, which this is, plug that in the 3.5mm jack plug there, and then we want another HDMI lead, plug it into this output, and then into our brand new television upstairs, which again of course has to be 4K, because this is the 4K sender, voila, it's as easy as that. And like I say, I explained it quite well on the original Technomate TM55 video and the TM70 video. So, now you've seen that working, here's the two don'ts. These are the things we don't want to see on these systems. Number one, no Cat5 cable. Cat5, even the full copper copper, is not even mentioned in the description on the back of here. And as good as Cat5 copper copper cable is, 
it just doesn't have enough bandwidth for 4k it would send it but it'd be a short distance so we don't want that cat 6 cat 6a or cat 7 that is cat 6 cat 7's obviously better if you can afford that go ahead especially when it's uh, you know high content 4k we also don't want to see these made up cables this is just standard cat 5 it's not even copper copper it's the type of thing that you get um from your internet router so you buy a router and you'll find one of these inside or uh, maybe you've bought sky tv or you've bought a, a bt free set or um free view box it'll have these inside these aren't even copper just aluminium cat 5 cables for an internet connection they will not carry that content okay let's not have them they are cheap as chips and they are cheap for a reason buy cheap buy twice we want cat 6 6a or cat 7 also we don't want to see these these are standard 1080p hdmi leads now these are brilliant don't get me wrong i'm, I'm certainly not having a pop at them i've been buying this particular lead from a manufacturer for years and i have not had a single faulty imagine touch wood um, imagine how many of these we've put in over the years for HDCC TV systems. I couldn't even begin to count. As good as they are, they're not designed to let 4K content through. So we want these. And it's clear to see. I'll move it around in the light. 4K, Ultra HD, and this has the little suppressors that clip on on either side. These are from the same make, it's from the same manufacturer as these. And the difference in price, £3. So don't be scrimping and scraping. No point buying a 4K sender if you're not going to put 4K HDMI leads on. And that's all three of them, remember. Because to make the loop through work, we need one to go from your DVR into your input. And then one from your output into your TV. So there's two there. And then, of course, one on your receiving end to go into your new TV upstairs. So you need three. Got to be 4K. If you're not going to buy 4K, don't buy this unit. Forget it. Not worth it. So there you go. That's the TN55 4K HDR POE. Now, um, I'm going to go backwards a little bit here. Um, I just don't think there's any point buying these when... Um, it's not for 4K content, but I can actually think of one specific reason to buy one if you're just sending normal HD. I'll just go on to the back again. Please, you know, try and keep up with this one because I'll explain it. Um, I'll explain it well because of the cost difference. So, again, the distances. 4K, 30 hertz, up to 55 meters and 60 hertz up to 35 meters. So if you can get 4K content on 30 hertz up to 55 meters, if you've bought another type of um, 2K, which is a 1080p sender, and you've had to turn the content down, whether it's on your CCTV, or you've just got this attached to your um, Skybox, because Skybox has now, certainly SkyQ, don't have the RF2 output on them, if you've had to turn your content down to 720 to get it to work, you might be able to purchase one of these and turn it back up to 1080p because it shows the distances <coughs> excuse me, for 4K and it also says it's compatible with 1080p. So I think if you used Cat6, six, Cat6A six or specifically Cat7, you would be pretty much safe to put maybe another 10 or 15 metres on top of these distances, certainly the 55, to be able to get full 1080 content. And the reason why I say that is, look, here's a another make of sender, <clears throat> XTND. Brilliant little pieces of kit, absolutely fantastic. But they're 2K. And they also do, I don't know if it says on the back, oh, it does there, uh, 30 metres. So if you're into that territory, <clears throat> even if you're not going to get... 4k content if you're not getting it there because of the size of these units and how far it's got to throw really heavy 4k content that could 
conceivably give you another 10 or 15 metres. So, there you go, just run that up the flagpole. And of course, remember, <coughs> while this has been working, your remote control will also work for your CCTV system. And if you've got um, Sky upstairs, and you've got these in for your remote control, won't just work for your CCTV, you could, you know, your uh, Sky remote controls will work on these as well. You know, your DVD players, anything. So, that's quite handy. So there you go. That's the Technomate TN55 4K HDR POE. Whew, what a mouthful. All I've got to say is, have a good day. I will, of course, get some more videos on for you today or tomorrow. Um, Technomate are absolutely ripping the road up at the moment. And they've got some new 4, 8 and 16-way poe switches out there and they are gigaport switches thousand meg um they are half the cost of the tp equivalent yes i said that half the cost and about two-thirds the cost of a hike vision uh poe switch that maybe only has 100 or 200 megabytes we've started stocking the fours and the eights and to be honest they are flying out of the door at such a rate I can hardly keep them in, so I'll get that video on for you soon. Again, this is Paul logging off at CCTV UK. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye now.